Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. The Justice Department and Congress are facing new calls to investigate Donald Trump's financial ties to Saudi Arabia. The latest controversy centers on a new golf tournament, which is owned by Saudi Arabia's sovereign public investment fund. The chair of the fund is Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The new league has paid millions to golf resorts owned by Donald Trump, who's publicly supported the league, uh, attempting to compete with the PGA. Can you help me appreciate your decision to host this event? Yep. Well, I've known these people for a long time in Saudi Arabia, and they've been friends of mine for a long time. Uh, they've invested in many American companies. They own big percentages of many, many American companies. And uh, frankly, what they're doing for golf is so great. What they're doing for the players is so great. The salaries are going to go way up. You're so closely associated with the city of New York. Yeah. You, of all people, understand the passion surrounding 9-11. What do you say to those family members who prote protested earlier this week and We'll be doing so again on Friday. Well, nobody's gotten to the bottom of 9-11, unfortunately, and they should have, as to the maniacs that did that horrible thing to our city, to our country, to the world. So nobody's really been there. But I can tell you that uh, there are a lot of really great people that are out here today, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to celebrate, and money's going to charity. The group Democracy for the Arab World Now, known as Dawn, is leading the calls for Trump to be investigated. The group also made headlines recently after it revealed the Saudi government agents had infiltrated Wikipedia to control information about Saudi Arabia and imprisoned two Wikipedia administrators who posted content critical of the kingdom's human rights record. To talk about both and more, we're joined by Sarah Lee Whitson, executive director of Dawn. Welcome back to Democracy Now! It's great to have you with us, Sarah Lee. Why don't we start off with Wikipedia? All right. What can I tell you? Well, start from the beginning. When we turn to Wikipedia to get information, when we're reading about Saudi Arabia, who's in control of that information? Explain what you learned and the lawsuit that you've brought. Uh, sure. So what we learned uh, following uh, the J December 2022 ban uh, by Wikimedia of 16 administrators and users uh, in the Middle East uh, is that uh, they had uh, apparently an infiltration uh, by what they called external parties. Uh, we were able to piece together that the infiltration was by the Saudi government uh, of administrators, users, and editors who were based in Saudi Arabia uh, and who were apparently uh, editing, posting, deleting content uh, relevant and important to Saudi Arabia in a way that promoted a positive image of Saudi Arabia and blocked information that appeared critical of Saudi Arabia. Um, what we also learned and pieced together was that two former administrators in Saudi Arabia had been arrested on the same day and ultimately uh, originally sentenced to five and seven years uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, for what our sources tell us was their uh, uh, refusal uh, to post propaganda for Saudi Arabia and the Saudi government's discovery that they had in fact posted critical information about the country. Uh, this all became much more apparent when, in September of 2022, a Saudi prosecutor increased the sentence of one of those uh, Saudi uh, administrators uh, to over 30 years uh, in prison. Uh, so through this uh, effort uh, uh, of research and investigation, uh, basically we were able to uncover how the Saudi government had pressured administrators and editors in Saudi Arabia uh, to post flattering content and ban critical content about the country. And Sarah Lee Whitson, if these uh, these two administrators were arrested in September of 2020, what kind of publicity did this receive at the time? And uh, did it take two years for Wikimedia uh, uh, to be able to figure out what was going on here? Well, that is a question more appropriately directed to Wikimedia. Uh, all we know about the Wikimedia Foundation, which oversees Wikipedia, 
uh, is that in December uh, of 2022, they said that they had launched an investigation starting in January 2022, uh, and that the result of that investigation was that in external parties had created a conflict of interest. Those are their words. Uh, uh, they did not mention the arrest and imprisonment of these two uh, Wikipedia former administrators. Uh, and in a subsequent statement, after we put out our release, uh, they did mention the two administrators. Um, but really, it's not clear to us uh, whether they have uh, demanded that the Saudi government release them or in any way assisted or supported uh, these two former Saudi administrators. Uh, it would be very convenient uh, for Wikimedia to wash its hands of this matter uh, and to pretend that the arrest and imprisonment of these two men didn't have to do with their work uh, on Wikipedia, but that is uh, clearly uh, not true. I'd also like to ask you, uh, you've called on the DOJ uh, to investigate the circumstances surrounding payments by Saudi Arabia's sovereign public investment fund to businesses owned by former President Trump. Can you talk about why you decided to make that call? Sure. Um, so basically, on Friday uh, of last week, just a few days ago, an attorney for uh, the PGA Tours, which is involved in litigation against both LIV Golf uh, and the Public Investment Fund, revealed the contents of a secret shareholder agreement uh, that, in fact, uh, the Live Golf is 93 percent owned uh, by the Saudi Public Investment Fund, which is in turn controlled entirely uh, by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Um, this is uh, the first direct link uh, of direct payments, uh, uh, basically, by Mohammed bin Salman uh, to President Trump for golf events uh, that Live Golf uh, has uh, hosted on a number of Trump resorts. Uh, now, uh, the under federal law, uh, negotiations, business negotiations with a foreign government are clearly banned uh, for senior officials, including a, a president, uh, while they're in office. But there are no laws that prohibit such business dealings after they leave government. Um, what's not clear and what we believe the DOJ should investigate is the extent to which these negotiations, solicitations, et cetera, uh, by Trump or his agents uh, were conducted with Saudi Arabia and its agents uh, while President Trump um, was in power. Uh, but more importantly, the fact that there's no law prohibiting a foreign government from paying uh, a former president mere months after he leaves office, just like the $2 billion uh, Saudi Arabia's public investment fund uh, paid to Jared Kushner six months after he left office, and the $1 billion uh, they paid uh, Steven Mnuchin, former Treasury Secretary, months after he left office, uh, shows how weak our conflict of interest laws are and the dangers uh, that this subjects uh, our democracy to. Uh, given uh, the fact that uh, government officials can uh, really just jump on the payroll of foreign governments minutes after leaving office. This has got to stop. And what kind of support do you have, I mean, in Congress and other places, uh, for exposing this and for doing an investigation? And if you could weave that into um, what happened the last time we had you on, a federal judge dismissing the lawsuit filed by the fiancé of the murdered um, journalist uh, Khashoggi, uh, who wrote for The Washington Post, um, in the uh, Saudi embassy in Istanbul, in Turkey, him throwing out the lawsuit, granting MBS uh, sovereign immunity? Um, well, uh, um, I, you know, it, in terms of the congressional investigations that have been announced to date, uh, uh, former Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney uh, and Senator Elizabeth Warren both announced that they were going to be investigating uh, the payments uh, to Jared Kushner's affinity partners and to Steven Mnuchin's fund uh, for conflict of interest for the reasons um, that I specified. Uh, and we are very hopeful that, that those investigations will now be expanded to include the payments to the Trump organization. Um, clearly, uh, uh, the many, many favors that President Trump uh, granted uh, to Mohammed bin Salman, extraordinary, unprecedented, uh, self-admitted uh, uh, protection uh, for Mohammed bin Salman and his role in the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, uh, uh, is now uh, appearing to result in direct paybacks. 
uh, for President Trump and his son-in-law and his Treasury Secretary. What else? We don't know. Uh, in terms of uh, Dawn's uh, lawsuit against Mohammed bin Salman, um, which uh, was recently dismissed uh, because of the Biden administration's recognition of sovereign immunity for Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, I think it just reflects a ceaseless pattern of favors, protection, uh, uh, all kinds of grants of favor. We have three grants seconds. Not just by the Trump administration, but also by the Biden administration. We're going to have to leave it there. Sarah Lee Whitson of Dawn. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Thanks for joining us.